So today, I'll be building the cheapest gaming setup I can find using only stuff I bought from Wish.com. It's either gonna be a disaster or I'm gonna successfully build a functional setup for cheap. Before we continue, I wanna give a huge thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Come on, you know you missed it. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Here are my personal top three champions in the game right now. Number one is Madame Cerise because of her thick and juicy abilities. She has one of the best AoEs in the game that reduces the enemy's attack and defense, allowing your team to take them down quicker. Number two is Martyr. She's one of the best defense champions, giving your team tons of buffs like counterattack and increasing their defense. And finally, Kale, which is one of the more common champions in the game. His poison debuff does a lot of damage to the clan boss and bosses with tons of HP. This month is huge for Raid. They just released a brand new faction, the Sylvan Watchers, with some amazing new champions. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click the link in the description section or scan my QR code on the screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. So the first thing I picked up is the gaming desk from Wish.com. This is basically the foundation of every setup. You need a nice desk to build your setup on. So you gotta make sure you get the right size and the right features to fit your needs. Let's hope it arrived in one piece. We might have a little assistant today. Shayla is gonna be helping me build this setup, so I could use the extra pair of hands. So this is called a gaming desk, and it's from a company called FDW. It goes for 68 bucks, which I think was a pretty good deal for a solid table. Everything is made out of metal, very nice. So far the packaging is really good. Lots of padding. Oh, carbon fiber, I like it. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or if it's fake, but it looks like they skinned both sides of the tabletop in black carbon fiber. It looks nice, I like the texture on it. You like the texture too? Yeah, it's nice. For the most part, it's in great condition. There are some small dings and scratches up here in the corners, but I think that's the bottom part, yeah, so let's check the other side. Some small bubbles over here, but you know, the imperfections are very marginal for the most part. It came in really good condition. So the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Should... So the instructions? I'm talking here. Can I do my scene? So the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Looks like it should only take about 10, 15 minutes to put this all together. And just like that, we're done, you guys. Took me less than 10 minutes to install this table. And I love the fact that it comes with a cup holder that you can install on either side of the desk as well as a headphone hanger. Let's test these out real quick. Got my Starbucks over here. Oh my God, what? All this for $68, I'm not convinced. What's the catch? It's not even a flimsy desk, too. It can support... Whoa. I heard some cracking. I mean, it can support up to 175 pounds, but I wouldn't put that much weight on this desk. We even got cutouts in the back to pass through cables, and you have these grommets to cover it up as well. I mean, this is honestly a steal. 68 bucks plus $12 shipping. You're looking at an $80 purchase for a nice, sturdy, black carbon fiber gaming desk. Okay, so far so good. The only thing I noticed is that this table picks up your fingerprints really easily. So I'll definitely avoid touching the surface with your 
oily or greasy hands. Make sure you have some uh, microfiber cloths nearby so you can wipe them off. All right, up next is the gaming monitor. I was able to find a nice deal on a 24 inch, 165 Hertz 1080p monitor. I picked this up for $143 which was $26 cheaper compared to BH Photo and Newegg. And I was surprised. I was like, how are they selling a brand new 24 inch, 165 Hertz monitor for that cheap? Well, it doesn't come with a base. I didn't know about that until I got the monitor in. The listing itself shows the stand on there and there's nothing in the notes that says that the monitor shipped like this. So I think I got partially scammed. I don't even know if this thing turns on, but we're gonna hook it up and see but it's not a big deal to me because I did pick up a monitor mount that we're gonna be using to mount this to the desk instead. But I just thought it was weird that they didn't even ship the monitor with the base. Luckily the monitor is VESA compatible. So all I gotta do is remove these little rubber pieces. I'm not gonna need the neck piece, so let's go and remove this. Comes with a nice little cable clip. Attach it over here. And then we're gonna slide the monitor on top. Oh, that's nice. You can route the cable right behind the neck piece so you're not gonna see any of the cables from the front. You're gonna need at least one Velcro strap on the bottom here to keep the cables from flaring out. So I feel like if we just add one down here, it'll be perfect. Oh yeah, beautiful. You get some nice adjustments with this stand as well, you guys. You get a swivel on both sides. You can adjust the tilt angle, top to bottom. You can adjust the height. You can even rotate the monitor a full 180 degrees on either side. So if you wanna rock a vertical monitor next to your horizontal, you can do that. This is freaking awesome. Look at that, a full 360 degrees of adjustment on this if you want, that's cool. All right, so far so good guys. I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing here. Um, before I install the peripherals, I do wanna add the mouse pad that I picked up from Wish as well. I was trying to go for like a, an old black or a color neutral theme with very minimal RGB. So I tried to find a pad that would match the setup's color scheme. So I saw this. Pretty good price, it's around $14, an extended mouse pad. It's called Strata. It looks very similar to, um, I'm thinking it looks very similar to the mouse pad company design. I can't be too sure on that, but the print on this is terrible. The PPI on this mouse pad print is very low and you can tell if you look up closely. I guess I definitely got what I paid for. The stitching on the other hand is not too terrible, but the actual like sharpness of this design is really bad. But we're gonna go with it because it does match the setup theme nicely. And again, we're trying to build the cheapest gaming setup possible. So we're gonna have to cut some corners somewhere, right? But personally, I'd spend an extra $13 and just pick up a badass tech source mouse pad instead. I mean, the quality difference is insane. You get such a better looking pad, a better design, and this will last you a much longer time. You can even toss it in the wash for like 10 minutes to clean up all the stains. Dealsource.tech slash store, or just click the link below if you guys wanna check out any of my awesome mouse pads. So the keyboard I picked up is from Xiolang. It's a 60% mechanical RGB keyboard with linear red switches. This doesn't tell me what switches it is, unfortunately, but if I had to guess, probably Gateron's or Cherry Red switches. My first impressions with this keyboard is that there's really nothing special going for it. You got your USB-C cable that plugs in on the top left here. And the construction wise, I mean, it's, it's your generic Chinese made, you know, plastic 60% mechanical keyboard with some RGB effects. That's really all this keyboard is. I got it for $41 plus the 11.36 shipping fee. So 
fairly cheap for a 60% mechanical keyboard. Now the gaming mouse was super cheap. I didn't know mice can get so freaking cheap. I picked this up for $15. It's from HXSJ. It's called the uh, J900 apparently. And it's a really nice looking honeycomb gaming mouse with some RGB lighting. So there's some RGB lighting over here on the, uh, the edge of the mice. I think that's the only spot. But yeah, for $15, I'm actually pretty, um, pretty happy with this deal. So we're gonna test it out obviously when we get the PC out and see how well it handles. It's got a nice uh, black braided USB cable as well. So not bad for 15 bucks. I did wanna add a nice microphone to this setup as well. I picked this up for $39. With the shipping cost, it came out to really close to 50, which is pretty much on par with the prices you would find on Amazon. This is from a company called Yakoman. It's got some pretty good reviews on Wish, but we'll be doing a sound quality test on this, of course, once everything is set up. I just love that this kit comes with everything. You get your pop filter, windscreen, super long USB cable, shock mount, your microphone, of course, and your boom arm with your desk clamp. So the headphone anchor is on the right side, and I normally like to keep my boom arm closer to my headphones. So let's, let's mount it over here on the right side. I think there should be plenty of reach to bring the microphone to your mouth. Yup, look at that, perfect. So other than input, we do need some output for this setup. So I picked up some wireless headphones for $13, guys. $13 and some change from Wish. Like how cheap can you really get from Wish? I'm expecting like the worst sound quality from these. But I mean, the point of the video is to build the cheapest gaming setup we can from Wish. I'm trying to see how much we can get away with building a setup for cheap so we can still get that great gaming experience because let's face it guys, setups can get really expensive. So first impressions, oh my God, this thing is like a toy. It's so freaking flimsy, look at this. What is this even made out of? Oh my God, this is so cheaply made, you could tell. You're definitely getting what you pay for here. I'm not surprised though. I'm definitely not surprised. It does come down to the audio quality though. All right, you know what, let's test the, um, the wireless audio first before we plug it into the actual PC. All right, just pair up my phone. Let's give it a listen. I feel like this is gonna fall apart just by holding it. So fragile this seems. Oh my God. These are so light. On the upside, they're super light, so they're not gonna be hurting your head during those long gaming sessions. All right, let's put some music on. Yeah. This ain't it, Chief. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> oh man. The clarity is so bad. It sounds muffled. It sounds so muffled. Oof. Yeah, I mean, what did you expect, honestly? It, I would rate these like three out of 10 or something. If I had to explain it in a better way, it's like you're listening to really loud music from the other side of the wall. That's like the best way I can explain it. But I mean, for $13, you can't complain. Like you just can't complain. So I did order a soundbar for the setup as the primary source of audio. I actually ordered two soundbars so I can see what the best quality was between those two, but I didn't get either of them, unfortunately. It's stuck somewhere in China for over a month now, and Wish has this pretty cool policy where if your item doesn't get to you within a certain window, you can contact them for a full refund. And that's basically what I did. I contacted an agent within the app, and then within two minutes, I got a full refund for both of the soundbars. So unfortunately, that means that we're not gonna have any other audio source for this setup other than these crappy headphones, which I guess it's not that bad. All right, so powering the entire setup is my recent $1,000 budget gaming PC that I did on the channel. You might have saw it, maybe you missed it. I'll drop a link to it below if you guys wanna check it out. This thing is an absolute power horse, okay? We have a Core i5 12400F in here with 16 gigs of RAM at 3600 megahertz, CL16 timing, and 
an RTX 3070. It's a beast PC for 1440p and on-tree 4K gaming. Check it out. You can even see the gaming benchmarks I did in there. I'll drop a link to it down below. You know what, I'm gonna try something stupid and see if I can put the PC on the desk. It's not a big case. I feel like if we shift everything a little bit towards the left, we can make it work. I just hate putting PCs on the floor, especially on carpet. So let's see if we can get away with doing this, you guys. If I have to move the boom arm, I will move it. Put it over here for now. Oh, we can! Look at that! We can even use the grommet in the back to help pass through the cables, you guys. Oh, this actually works out so much better. This is not even getting in the way too, that's perfect. We can always move the boom arm on the other side if we want, but I feel like it's fine over here. Oh yeah, this is perfect. All right guys, moment of truth. Is it gonna turn on or is it gonna explode in my face? I know the PC is gonna work, I just hope the monitor turns on. Okay, we got light for the keyboard and mouse. Nice, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, it lives, it lives. So I pretty much finished the setup and then I go over to use it and I realized I don't have a freaking chair. I forgot to buy a damn chair. So I went back on wish.com and I placed an order for an ergonomic chair. I found a really good one for $61 from a company called Yahi Tech. Got some pretty positive reviews on there. I think one of them, my mom wrote that her son found it very comfortable. So that seems very promising. I'm actually just surprised the chair got here so quickly. I bought it only like four or five days ago and it got here within less than a week. What are you doing? You're letting the light in. Come here. You're trying to escape? We're building a setup together, did you forget? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna test it out with me. These guys also sell the chair in different colors. You got red, blue, white, orange, but obviously I picked up the black one so it matches our setup's color scheme. Let's see just how ergonomic this chair really is. Oh, actually, you can only tell, it feels very comfortable. I love the mesh seat on here. Is it comfortable, Shay? It's nice, right? It's very comfortable. You wanna help? You wanna help me assemble it? We got mesh backing as well, look at that. Perfect for those super sweaty nights in the summer. What does it say? Here, tell me what does it say on page one? Help me out. All right. Shayla approves the chair, it looks like. You like the chair, Shay? Is it comfortable? Is it comfortable? You like the chair? You like the mesh? She likes the mesh backing. It's Shayla approved. Now I gotta sit on it and see if it's comfortable. Can I sit on it and test out the chair? Can I test out the chair, please? No, okay, it's, it's her chair now. I love how she's watching herself in the monitor. She's watching herself in the monitor. You're a YouTuber now, Sheila. You're <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's test it out. Not bad, not bad. It's no Herman Miller. Let's get that out of the way, okay? It's a $61 chair but it's actually really comfortable. There's no neck support, unfortunately. This chair looks like it's very small for me, but it's comfortable. I love it. I love the mesh back. And you can lean back, look at that. 
Oh, okay, okay. I can't believe this chair is from Wish. There's nothing wrong with it too. It came in perfect condition. All right, let's check out the height adjustability. It goes up pretty high, not bad. A little too high for the setup. I like it all the way on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a nice chair. It's actually a nice chair. I like how soft the wheels are. You can actually roll over carpet so easily. Look at this. You can like drift over carpet or, or your rug. I'll be right back. Okay, so I paid $424 for the entire setup. And with shipping included, the grand total came out to $484.30. That's not bad. I paid less than $500 for an entire gaming setup. Well, minus the PC, which got me thinking, by the way, do you guys want me to include the PC on the next Wish setup? If so, let me know in the comments section below. So anyways, I've been playing Modern Warfare 2 on this setup for the past three days. And here are my final thoughts, starting with the desk. I still don't know how they're able to charge so cheap for a desk and still make a profit. It's built very well with MDF wood covered by a carbon fiber wrap and we even got steel legs for great support. It's 45 inches in width and almost 23 and a half in width which is big enough to fit a monitor and a PC or two monitors if you go one vertical mode. On top of that you get a headphone anger and a cup holder with two cutouts in the back to help with cable management. I mean, what more can you ask for for $68? Well, $80 with shipping included. The worst thing in this setup are the headphones. Absolute trash. Like I don't even use these to watch the hub. When you plug it into the PC, only the left channel works. There is no audio coming out from the right side whatsoever. That makes it extremely difficult to play games because you don't have accurate spatial audio to know where your enemies are coming from. Wireless mode isn't as bad. I mean, at least you can hear from both ear cups, but the audio is extremely muffled. It sounds like you're listening to music from someone's butthole. The funny thing is I actually reached out to Wish and I told them that the quality of these are horrendous and I want to return it for a refund and they just straight up gave me my money back without any, uh, without any questions asked. So I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, very crappy headphones, avoid buying these at all costs. Now the keyboard and mouse, I actually enjoyed gaming on. The build quality is decent on the keyboard with some nice RGB color effects that you can cycle through right on the keyboard as well as the ability to adjust the brightness and the speed of the animation. But the major downside is that it doesn't support single color. You only get RGB. So if you wanna go with a single color to match your setup's color scheme, for example, well, that's too bad. You can't do that with this keyboard. Also, what the hell is up with the UK layout? Why do you guys have your enter key in such an awkward shape? And why is the shift key so freaking small? It's very annoying when I'm typing something on it. Look, we might have the worst metric system in the entire world, but you guys have the worst keyboard layout in the entire world. This was a simple oversight on my end because I just noticed the seller is in the UK, but it's definitely something to keep in mind before purchasing, especially if you live in the US, because the keyboard layout can definitely be a deal breaker. The mouse on your hand is pretty cool. Nothing exciting to mention about it. It's got a nice honeycomb design with an RGB lit logo and an RGB strip that runs around the edge that you can change by pressing the button on the bottom. This mouse also doesn't have a single color option, which sucks. You just get a bunch of different multicolor effects instead. But in terms of responsiveness, I mean, it's not the most responsive mouse I've used, especially since they're using a budget grade sensor, but it hasn't really affected my gameplay. I'm still able to play well, I'm able to get kills. There is a difference in responsiveness for sure when compared to something like my Model O, but for $15, you can't complain. I feel like the mouse pad also contributes to this. It's simply bad. Not just the print quality on it, but the fabric they used, the mouse doesn't glide that well over it. It adds additional friction while I'm gaming and it's definitely noticeable when comparing it to one of my mouse pads. It really is night and day. The mouse glides so much better on a TS pad and I've done noticeably better in games with it. I'm not saying this to promote my mouse pads, you guys. I'm just telling you to avoid this knockoff mouse pad at all costs. Just buy something else cheaper online. Now the mic bundle, however, was a great buy. You get a lot of value for the money. You get a boom arm, a windscreen, pop filter, shock mount, and a nice condenser microphone that doesn't sound terrible. I mean, you guys can be the judge. I'm recording the audio for this segment directly into the new microphone. 
The boom arm is your standard budget arm that you can normally find on other microphone bundle kits from Amazon and offers a lot of adjustments, including two separate angle adjustments at the neck and the shock mount areas. Here's a quick keyboard test as I'm talking into the microphone just so we can see how much of the noise it picks up while gaming. Another great buy was the monitor and the mount combo. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I got this for only $143, which is a very good deal. You're not gonna find another 24 inch 1080p gaming monitor with a 165 hertz refresh rate and a one millisecond response time for less than 150 bucks. The only thing that was kind of sus about it was it arrived with no base. And if I told Wish about it, I feel like I would have gotten a refund. But like I said, it didn't bother me because I planned on mounting the monitor anyways. Either way, I'm 99% confident it was just a mix up and they forgot to include it somehow. You should mount the monitor either way though, because it helps with ergonomics. You can lift it so it's at a more comfortable height for your eyes. You get tons of more adjustability, which is great if you're adding more than one monitor, and it frees up additional space underneath. So you can add some of your other gear, like an audio interface, DAC and app, or just use it for decoration. I would have used the extra space for the soundbar had it arrived, but I'm just gonna use the extra space for decoration. Moving on to cable management, this was very easy. I just used a bunch of cable clips to help wrap the cables underneath the desk and behind the legs into a power extension. I used a few Velcro straps to keep some of the cables from flaring out, but all in all, it was very easy to do and extremely cheap. I didn't buy any cable racks, raceways, cable boxes, or anything extra. The point was to build the cheapest possible gaming setup, and I think I did a pretty good job. If you want me to build another Wish setup, give me some ideas. What budget I should go with, what color scheme, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll also drop a link to all the setup gear I used from Wish.com if anyone wants to check it out. Now I do have to get rid of this setup so I can make room in my office for my next project. So if anyone lives near LA and you wanna come by and pick up this setup for free, let me know on my Discord server. There's a channel called Wish Setup. I want you guys to post a picture of your current setup and give me one sentence on why I should give away this setup to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.